Hello guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So we're back on the multiplayer server, and today I'm going to be unveiling my new project, as well as doing a bit of work on it. So, let me just check if I've got any more food in here. Uh, it doesn't look like it. So I've got all this wood, uh, I'm going to try and use this for what I've got planned. But I've done all the basic outlining stuff off camera, because it was boring, repetitive, and... Not the most interesting stuff, but there is the start of my amazing sand temple plus. So if you remember there used to be a sand temple over there, this thing used so much red, uh, redstone, sandstone, so much sandstone, it's unbelievable. So we go over here, uh, I've started using a new texture pack which is the Faithful 32 pack. The link will be down in the description if you want it. I like it because it is, well, look how vanilla it looks. But it just looks better, really. And as you can probably tell from that zoom feature, I am using the Optifine mod. Which is quite interesting. It makes the uh, the words from the Raised Minimap mod stand up more. So we've done this whole area, which is all the inside area. This is the main central room. And this... This is going to go all the way down the bedrock eventually. I obviously won't show me digging it, but I may show me doing some stuff with the walls because I want to put lights in the walls and stuff. And then there'll be a nice big drop down to the bedrock to some sort of water source. So there's going to be some sort of water design in here that I'm intending to work out. Uh, we've got these four towers sort of sections which are going to rise out a bit further. As you can see, it's all symmetrical and nice took me ages to do this because this the roof's made out of all half slabs so I'm going to put lights in it as well I'm also going to put some in the floor somehow because obviously the light won't reach that far down so we've got these these four towers and each tower is going to have a central theme and I've decided for the two at the front they're going to be life and death so basically what's going to be in this one is all sorts of greenery there's going to be a tree which is going to be the main ladder how you get up and the other one is going to be all never even like if if anyone can find some we'll, I'll probably try and get some mycelium in there as well as like neverack and soul sand that sort of thing but this one will be all grass and all lovely and green and fresh but what I want to do is first I want to work on a way up to the second floor by this tower Whoops, because right now I'm having the jump up for a broken section into wall up to the, the sort of ramparty section so it's a fairly sizable project each tower is probably going to take me like a few episodes each so what I'm going to do work out the center should be there is that central? well the issue is it's 2x2 two two, isn't it so there, there, there and there so that's the central area and what I'm going to do, oh, I forgot about that, that was max. Okay, what I'm going to do is surround this with wood to start, like so, and just stick out that one. So, what will happen is you'll come through a sort of doorway. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do the doors into here. These are obviously the ways into this room because I didn't want you to be able to see straight inside, so I thought I'd do them in the corners be a bit different as well with the sort of uh, sideways design but I haven't decided how to do the emphasis from here but anyway you'll come up here and you'll climb up through the inside of this tree ah yeah damn log ah, so instead of just a stairway or ladder there's going to be vines growing inside the tree you'll climb up and it'll lead you into a branch that'll take you out to the ramparts so that's nice and easy so for now I'm just going to work on the basic thing Actually, I need to get some vines, don't I, first? That'd be useful. So a quick desert run. But this is this is going to be a big project, because obviously there's each tower to do. There's the hallways, which can have a design. There's the central section. Then there's all the stuff down I want to do at the bedrock. Because I don't, I don't just make it a pointless pit down to bedrock. I want there to be something interesting down there, something that's worth going down there for. So we gotta do that. Uh what else is there about it? Oh yeah, every, all the walls are just made out of plain normal sandstone at the moment. 
They're not made out of any of the chiseled or smooth sandstone. I'm going to replace all that as I go in each suitable area. I'm not going to need too much of this stuff at least though. And it grows right here. Come on. I'm sure it used to break faster than this. So we'll get a few vines just so we can not have to worry about falling and stuff like that. Uh, tree design I always find quite difficult to do. Like how to make them look realistic as well as good. Especially when I have a limited size to work on. And I'm also not sure what sort of leaves I want to use for this tree because obviously there's going to be branches and stuff and you'll be walking out onto a branch over there it's time midday uh, this area in the inside and top I think is all lit up I've tried to get all the dark spaces so that hopefully won't cause any issues later right just so I don't have to worry so that I can jump down if I want Let's put some there there we go that way I have a way down if needed and I can also get back up to get started again. And then we're going to need one on there. I'm not going to bother putting a door in, I'll just camouflage it because this tree is obviously not just going to be a four, well, six wide? One, two, three, no, four wide. A four wide fit, uh, solid way up. It's going to have some twists and turns in it as well as extra branches, be thicker at the bottom, you know general sort of tree design but I just want to get this this branch sorted first so I think I should have just enough wood for that on me at least so if we go out here let's see where's, where's the rest there we go so I want it to sort of come diagonal because I don't want it to be too straight and obviously there would be a bit of wood hanging under here so if I'm right perfect ah that's the problem with using um, efficiency 4 picks sometimes. Right, just jump down. Ow, totally missed the vines. Okay, so now we have a way back up. I just want to get that half stab so I don't forget about it. Uh, those vines will also grow as well, so I'll just stick one on each side for now because we're running out. So we'll have one there. There, there, and where's the word? There it is. Let's put that there. And that. It's it's a nice feature. I'll admit. It's just um, it's gonna take some getting used to. All right, and then we put that there, so it grows down onto that thing. And for now, we'll just put one there, so it grows down that way as well as that way. Also, this vine will eventually grow down and cover the entrance way a bit, which would be nice. Uh, we need to make this a bit thick. Ah, maybe I could do those sideways. Actually, thinking about it, that might look better. So we'll have those ones coming off the trunk like that. But then they would logically grow sideways. Can I reach? No. Oh, typical. Right. So sideways. Oh, now you're doing it the right way up. Right, sideways. See. <laughs> This thing is just awkward sometimes. There we go. Stand like a certain distance back and then... Cause I swear if I was standing close... If I wanted to put it there... Why does it always do it the way you don't want it to go? It just seems annoying. Right, there's two more to go. Nope. Come on. Do it right. So do it right. There we go, because this is the same sort of frustration I've had before. I think that actually looks better. Let's have a look. Ooh, nearly fell. Look at all this I had to dig out because it was wrong. Yeah, those sideways bits are definitely going to make the branches seem more realistic, which is very good. So we'll get up, and can I get up? There we go. Where was I going to thicken it out? There was somewhere I saw that needs to be thicker. I think it's here. Ah! Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. And we make this one thicker there. So there we go. That's better. Uh, this bit will probably be surrounded by leaves, so you can't see the transition too badly. And I've also used the leaves as a sort of um, railing, so you can't fall off. So that'll be your way over there. Sun's going down. Oh, didn't think about that. And I need to just thicken it up down here at the bottom. So, 
can I reach it by jumping? I can, awesome. So I'll just make that a few blocks wider. There we go. I would also probably have a branch coming off here and going up slightly. This is going to be the only purely flat branch because it was just a bridge. And we'll also ah, we'll also thicken up the trunk down here a bit, so it looks like there's going to be roots and stuff coming into the ground. Uh, let's put that there, there, and there. Build a couple up here. So it's just making it look a bit more realistic, a bit more fleshed out now. Yeah, like it could be a real tree. Let's build a couple up here because you obviously don't want to make it all just symmetrical. It's got to have a bit of definition to it. Uh, put a block. We we'll put a couple there so the entrance way but it's more supported. A uh, block there and a block there, I think. And does that work actually? Having the one block higher one sideways might actually work better. Nah, it doesn't work from a sideways point of view, I don't think. We'll have to do it like this for now, unfortunately. I wish you could get uh, sort of wood that's sort of surrounded on all sides so you didn't have this bit. Right, now we want to. Where's my. Oh, I'm not using the shovel. Because this shovel destroys. It just destroys all sort of. Um, all, all sand, all dirt. It just rips for it. And for something like this, it's a bit too powerful. Well, I just want to dig out a couple of blocks, like so. Now I'm going to change this to all the grass because I do have a silk touch pick, so there's no worrying about that. Let's take a few out this way. Because I want this tree to be the main centerpiece. There's obviously going to be little bits around, but this tree is going to be like the first thing you come in, you look up and go, ooh, that's a big tree. Or something along those lines. There we go. That's all my wood used up for now. So we'll bring some out this way because now I've only got regular oak wood. So you come in, there'll be some more down there, that one goes there. You come in here, go up the vines, fall off like I do. Ah, I'm terrible at climbing vines. It's because I'm missing this one block here. And then sneak over here, you can walk over there perfectly fine. I'll probably put glowstone in the tree to light it. Or maybe, maybe jack-o'-lanterns because then they might look like fruit or something. Yeah, I, I quite like that. I might go with the jack-o'-lantern idea. This will all be leaves. Um, from here up will be where the leaves start. Because these towers are going to go a bit higher. This is sort of the level where I'm going to inset them by one. So these appear to get thinner as you go, not just being a solid straight chunk upwards. Okay. Uh, logically, I should... Oh, I, can, I can use this for this. And I can use my shovel. So just just watch. Click. Uh, just clicking once take out two blocks. Because this is from the straight up view, it's okay for me to just use those blocks. Uh, I might put some vines on the outside, like there, just so it covers the doorway a bit more. So let's get my vines and let's just take out the top of these two. Because they grow back, they grow back in no time, and we can still climb up. So I put a couple there. Uh, we can get rid of that one as well. Why not? And just put that one down there. Just so it looks like it's spread a bit more naturally. We'll put a few more around the sides when we get some. Hop. So once all the vines go, oh, yeah, because there you go, that one's growing already. So you can see it's, um, now you've got one filling that whole corner. Because if I tried to plant one there, it would just overwrite that one. This is the only way you can get them on all sides by growing them from a higher level. So I do like how that sideways stuff's going to work. That should end up quite well. What else do we need to do? What else? Uh, I'll go get some grass. Oh, do I have any dirt? All my dirt's back at the arena. Since I'm the only one on, I'll head back to the arena and sleep quickly. And then I'll go get some of that dirt with my silk touch. Because I still need to light up all the area around it. But that actually makes... <laughs> you can see the outline. I don't know why I pointed at my screen then. You can't see that. But it actually makes the arena really stand out at night. Which is good. But, you know... It makes it a bit dangerous to go to. Although there is only one entrance, so I guess as long as I make that entrance lit up, it would be fine. But yeah, I'm using the medical bay just as my uh, resting point at the moment. 
Right. I need a lot of dirt. Really? I have no dirt? Huh. That's it. I have a record. Wait, that's C13. Already got that one. That's okay then. Huh. Alright, well I'll run back to my proper base and grab some dirt. Since that's a bit annoying. And uh, we'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. So I went and picked up uh, quite a few supplies. So we can work on this a bit more. We got we got some plants, like ferns, which I don't think you can get with bone meal, but we got a load of bone meal. Got a few bits of grass and a load of dirt, obviously. Now for the fun part. I love the shovel. <laughs> and just look at it, it just destroys sand. So we just gotta get a load of this sand. I'm even gonna go under the tree just in case I change it later. Because that will save me time in the long run. I don't I'm not fussed if I dig out underneath the walls at the moment. Usually I would be. And I'd fill it in, but Right now it's not a key concern, so let's just get all the sand out of the way. Thankfully it doesn't take long. That's have has got an awesome pick. Just plows for anything. There we go, let's get rid of them. But I definitely do, I'm just running out, I've run out of sandstone. I thought I'd have so much in the arena, but it's nearly all used up already. I am pretty shocked actually. It's just, turning sand into sandstone is a very costly thing. But like, with the way you can make cobble no, uh, the stone bricks. That You don't lose supplies doing that. My inventory is full already. Let's go to that because I only got the max. And it's a very costly process and like, compared to the stone bricks, which is free because you lose nothing except for a bit of coal. Let's put one there so we get some spreading. Unfortunately, it is going to have this sort of deserty shade to it, but there isn't really much I can do about that. I could have like moved the temple a bit so that the grass was located somewhere else. But that's quite a lot of effort just to work on one temple. Plus I oh one's going already. Plus I wasn't one hundred percent sure where I wanted everything when I started building. So, you know, that's just an afterthought really. So could have been done. Perhaps I, I will next time, but for now, good thing I did bring two snacks. I'm gonna need a lot more actually. I always forget how big things are in Minecraft. Like, think, oh, two stacks, that will that will easily fill things up. No, no, it will not. Because each row of these is about, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Each of these rows is about ten long, actually. Maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, but you know, ten's about the average. So that's every time I want to fill with one section, that's 10 blocks. So I'm out of dirt already and I've, I've run out. I need to go get more. But we now have the grass spread, which is good. We've got a bit more sand. See, these ferns, I don't think you can get them by bone mealing. I think you can only get them in deserts. Uh, not deserts, jungles. Sorry, I was looking at these. These are going to go in the opposite side with the sort of death tower. As you can see we've got a nice change going already here. Why can't we get that? Is that cheaty sand? Cheaty sand it is. Let's put that there. So we got we got stuff growing. I'm gonna need to get more dirt. Uh what else will I need? Once this is all grown I'm gonna bone meal it up. Um <laughs> these vines will grow on their own rate, which is good. Ah, I cannot climb to save my life. We got the first branch done. Uh still need to get decide what site yeah, what type of leaf I want to use. So any suggestions for that would be welcome and appreciated. And now I can actually fill this in. So where's all this sandstone that I've been getting? Where's all that sandstone? There it is. Alright. So we obviously need that left open. Oh yeah, if you're wondering, um, because I'm using the Optifine mod, it can smooth the textures between the sandstone. That's why, it, uh, see this little lip thing? When I place it, it disappears. So I quite like that feature. I mostly use it for glass, but the glass, it doesn't seem to work with this texture pack, unfortunately. Uh, but I just do like this texture pack because it's just the original in a higher quality, really. All there is to it. Is there a torch over here? There should be a torch over here. 
there at least. We have a system for lighting this up. So we got started on that life tower side. Uh, we're going to need to get more wood, some more dirt from my chest, I've got enough saved. And grass will spread on its own, vines will spread on their own. So the only thing we really need now is wood and to choose what leaves to use. So I think I'll end it there. I think I've bored you long enough with this. But uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know. And I'll see you next time. Toodles.